I'm enjoying another beautiful day out in the mountains today in New Hampshire. Today um, I'm hiking Scar Ridge and I'm at the summit right now. Uh, I don't know if you could see, I'm trying to get to, uh, you probably can't see the canister, but what I do want to show you is it's a bushwhack. So like I want to show the, this is my view right now. It's my 360 degree view. <laughs> it's 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 just bush. So um, today uh, is also much more challenging. I mean, this beautiful day, it's also much more challenging um, than my hike yesterday. Um, it's significantly longer. And um, yesterday's hike was bushwhack, but there was a pretty good herd path. But today um, there was more bushwhacking involved. So, and I'm, you know, out here, um, it's Monday. So, and I'm on a mountain that most people don't do. So I'm felt a little vulnerable at times today. Um, and so I have a friend that's also hiking in New Hampshire, but he's on different, um, uh, mountain, uh, different mountains today. And so I've been keep sending him updates on where I am and, uh, you know, and I've taken other safety measures, but I've still felt very vulnerable at times. And I've been reflecting today a lot on, um, on the process of goal setting. And as you know, I, I wrote an entire book on the power of goal setting after trauma because of just how important goal setting has been in my healing journey. And, you know, I'm always striving for goals. You know, my goal setting will hopefully never, you know, be over as long as I'm alive. And, um, but I've been reminded, you know, hikes like this, um, and particularly bushwhacks give me a lot of reminders of obstacles um, that I'm going to face on the way to any goal and, and the other things that I'm going to experience like feelings of vulnerability and feeling uncertain and scared and feeling all by myself and like you know, so, so today I've been reflecting a lot on how, and, and part of why the mountains have been so important in my trauma healing journey is because, you know, they've reminded me of these things. They've reminded me not only that I'm strong and can endure hard things, but it's also reminded me of all sorts of important life's lessons and that I can consistently apply um, in all aspects of my life. And, and when you're doing a bushwhack, you know, there's no trail. And so, you, you know, of course, I got a map and compass and I can look at the map and I can say, OK, this is my route and this is the direction I want to go. And I can check it on my phone You know, I have the map on my phone. But I can say, like, this is the direction I want to go. And I know this is the path to the summit, but there's all sorts of obstacles in the way. There's trees down and there's, you know, shrubs and there's bushes poking at me. And, um, and there's, you know, there's just all sorts of obstacles. But isn't that what life is about? <laughs> you know, life is constantly throwing us obstacles in our path. And we've got to figure out a way to maneuver around them, you know, I guess we could stay still. I mean, I guess I could stay still on the mountain and say, I'm not going any further, but is that realistic? You know, is that an option? But in life, sometimes when people reach an obstacle, they say, no, I'm not going to go any further. You know, I guess today I could have turned back if I got an obstacle and said, this is too hard. Um, I'm going to go back. And I could have done that. And some people do choose to do that. And, and for them, that may be okay. But if you are pursuing goals of your own, which I, I hope you all are, always are and always will continue to pursue goals. Um, so you're striving for more. Um, but I, I hope this video serves as a reminder that regardless of um, whatever goal you're working toward, there's always going to be obstacles in your path. And if you want to turn back before you make the decision to turn back, um, I think it's important to evaluate whether that's necessary. Um, you know, what are you going to do when you turn back? Does this mean you're gonna, just going to reevaluate or are you just not going to come back? You know, are you going to decide at a later point? And, 
And so, you know, like there's been plenty of mountains I have made the decision to turn back on. And some mountains I went back and summited at another date and others I said, no, I don't want to do that again. And so I want you to know that's okay. But I also want you to know that if a goal is really important to you, that there's times that you're going to face an obstacle and instead of turning back, you're going to have to figure out a way to maneuver around that obstacle if you want to achieve that goal. And so in the video I did yesterday, I was talking about how I've been sacrificing my time, you know, from, you know, with hiking, like I haven't been hiking as much so I can pour my extra time into my business. And it, I have a very big goals for my business. And so I had to make that um, decision. But today, as I've been facing all these obstacles in this hike, um, I've been reflecting on the obstacles I've faced so far um, on my mission to grow my business and um, to go into my business full time. And I was reflecting on on the fact that I'm, I'm going to have a lot more obstacles. And so while I've been hiking today, I've been reaffirming for myself um, the reason this goal is important to me and, and the vision I have for my life and my future and my legacy. And, and so as I was pushing through bushes and, and, you know, climbing over trees and that have fallen down and all these things, like, these are things I'm going to have to do on the way to my business goals like I have when I was, you know, writing my books and getting my PhD and climbing huge mountains around the world. Like I've literally had to have obstacles like this. And so it was just, today has been full of reminders. And, um, and so here I am giving you reminders in case you need them, that if a goal is really important to you and you're facing an obstacle, you're going to have to figure out a way to maneuver around it. And you may, may get scrapes. Like today I'm going around trees and I got scraped. You know, so, and I'm probably going to have some bruises. And so when you're maneuvering around an obstacle, you're going to get some bumps and bruises. And sorry, I keep having flies on me. And um, so you're going to have to make that decision of whether the bumps and bruises are worth it. And, and only you can make that decision. And if you decide to turn back, that's okay. But you want to make sure that you're okay with that decision. Okay. And just because you turn back, it doesn't mean you can't, you know, give it, you know, the goal a try at another point. Um, but, but before you give up, just, just make sure it's, it's your decision and, and that you're not giving up just because it's hard. Um, and you don't know what to do. You know, it may require, you know, consulting experts and it might con require, um, gaining new skills and, and working on, you know, your self-talk. And so maneuvering around obstacles comes in various forms. There's various ways to maneuver around obstacles. And so you'll have to evaluate yourself what work you're going to have to do to reach your goal and whether it's important to you. And when it's hard, the goal is it. I'm sorry. I was like, I got a little nervous there. Like, when I'm all, all by myself, I get a little nervous and jumpy. So something, I don't even heard it. Sorry. I was like, I almost dropped the phone. I got so nervous. Um, sorry, I got off track. Um, but anyways, um, if you're pursuing a goal, you're going to have to keep your why in mind. And, and when it's hard and um, to remember why you're, why you're doing it. And so, as always, if you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for listening. Bye for now.